Hi guys, Zabie here bringing you a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be going over the new auto rifle from the Iron Banner, the Unbent Tree. Now, uh, first off, I'm just going to say this weapon is not from the vendor. The vendor has a different role than mine, and I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what those roles are. But, if you're curious, we will be going over this anyway, and I'll be giving you my opinions about the weapon anyway. And first opinion is the looks of this thing is just so cool all these iron banner weapons just look really cool they're just brimming with just this old raw gritty uh rusted ass uh, aesthetic and i really i'm really digging it on all these weapons and uh probably this one's probably my favorite in, as far as looks go in all honesty I like the chains i like the fur wrapped around it just it's just cool uh, so, for first, before we get into anything, we're going to go over the base stats. We have a maximum rate of fire, the highest possible you can go on a weapon, with probably one of the lowest impacts you could imagine. Uh, quickly, I'm just going to just say uh, range is a little bit lower than this, it probably goes to about here. Range is kind of low um, for this weapon. I just have either a uh, one that increases the range or one that decreases the range. So there's that. Uh, stability will go over. Stability is, uh, I'm just going to say it's pretty freaking low for uh, this weapon because it fires so fast. Uh, it, it gets out of control. We'll go into that a little bit more here uh, soon. Then we have our reload, which is uh, somewhat high. So uh, as you can see, this would be the actual base stat of the reload, which is actually really high. But again, perks. And then uh, again, our magazine is 57, which is huge. But uh, more into that, uh, my rolls for a second, which actually we'll get into my rolls right now. We have the iron red dot, iron warrior sights, and iron range scope. Then for our first ones we have send it which increases the range but for this weapon you desperately need to get the stability um i suggest getting something to reduce the reload speed actually rather than the range unlike me who unfortunately got one a uh, roll on mine where it just slices that range really low but from my experience i'll get to that in a second actually from my experience it's not so bad then we have quick draw which is okay but i really like the appended magazine uh, you do lose a little reload but your magazine goes from 57 to 69 which is freaking huge it's huge especially with how fast you can reload it you'll see in a second then we have persistence for mine and focused fire um, either I guess are fine but for something like this you're gonna really want uh, persistence and I actually highly recommend you getting persistence on this weapon it's a very it's in my opinion, you need this perk for this weapon to be good. Uh, that's just me. Uh, we're going to go find some enemies here real quick. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to show some enemies. I'm going to show you how this thing shoots. This is going to be with persistence, so I could show you what focus fire is, but this is with persistence. Uh, without persistence or any stability, this card, this weapon is very, very hard to control. You can see, this thing sounds pretty amazing. As you can see, even with a high stability roll, it goes so fast that it's just again this thing is really hard to control without the stability perks so I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually keep control of it and this is also with persistence this helps as you can see it doesn't take too much to uh, be able to control the weapon and now we're going to go out and we're going to uh, kill some enemies if there are any left <laughs> but you'll see this thing is actually really fun to use um, this thing is stupid in Crucible. Completely stupid. In a good way, I mean. This thing is probably one of the best auto rifles I've used in the Crucible in a long time. Uh, looks like we got some guys over here. This thing just melts people in the Crucible. Just melts them. I'd love to show you. But again, if you know my videos, I like to do this all in one shot, and it's kind of hard to get the information off. Uh, when I can't, you know, talk. And uh, you can see uh, this thing 
even on these guys, there's kind of uh, melting them, but they don't have shields. This gun is just not for PvE. See that major? I couldn't take them down with one clip. And that's with an extended clip too. Maybe if I got all headshots I could, but this is definitely a scary weapon. If, especially if you can get the, uh, definitely get the um, stability increase. I'm going to try to do some range here, show you how the range sort of works on you. As you can see, uh, even though this thing doesn't have a lot of range, it's not really a ranged weapon. This is kind of a close combat, maybe mid-rangey sort of weapon. This thing is just crazy, as you can see, it's just, it's melting these guys, even with the shields. <laughs> uh, but Majors, as you can see, it's a little tougher to take down, usually with a hand cannon, uh, with explosive rounds, I can take out Majors with shields, you know, a lot quicker, and more uh, consistently and accurately than I could with this, and plus hand cannons have a little range and this doesn't. So uh, you could probably use this in PvE anyway, but I would suggest that it's more of a PvP weapon. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, you guys have this weapon yet? You can get it at rank 5 Iron Banner, uh, but if you've gotten it in other ways, like as a reward from a match, uh, what were some of your roles? I'd be really interested. Uh, and if you like my videos, please subscribe, and you all have an awesome day.